What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Should talk about Scream Sickness video here again today. Going on about the latest stuff that came out today about Nev Campbell and shares some things about what I've been told. Again, none of this is going to be made official to us until I guess we see the movie because I'm not expecting none of this to be mentioned in marketing. But apparently what's happened is today, Nev, what was told to us today through a video, Nev apparently has told an agent who books the Scream cast for conventions that the rumors of her return for Scream 6 are bullshit and that she hadn't even heard the rumors till just now. So pause. One, how have you not heard about these rumors? Two, why would she admit to joining the cast if it's a secret uh three why would she share that with someone who then immediately turned around and addressed it on a video stream now let's say that she told them yes it's true so then this person again like they just did goes onto a video stream and reveals the secret on a stream honestly this agent probably knows that she can't just reveal that to them but uh viewer and non i guess followed that up with if sean is concerned about that he should dm me and i can tell him they have shooting dates now the concern expressed in the video was that her commitment would impact her appearances at conventions. I saw this tweet and then quote tweet with what I've been told because now I've seen viewer non has made it clear he knows of dates too. And the dates I've told are potentially going to be July 28th, July 29th and July 30th for Nev Campbell and when she's going to be shooting her role in Scream 6. Now these dates now these are also dates that she has no conventions appearances for apparently as well viewer viewer anon must have noticed my tweet because then i see that he he must have noticed that my tweet included dates that he was told and then decided to have fun with it as you'll see on his profile when you scroll through it i do still believe sydney will be back and i think the role will be very minor if it doesn't happen please remember that we still have a very good set of cast members and crew members that would love our support they just want to put on the best movie for us i believe that wholeheartedly and we are essentially basically just in a no way home scenario at this point because the whole is she or isn't she thing definitely is getting a lot of people on the side of uncertainty so uncertain to the point that they are going to go out of their way to see this movie just to see if nev campbell is in it now as for why they wouldn't announce it again she most likely is going to be a glorified cameo she's probably going to only be at the very end of the movie why waste time announcing that because of the fact that again she doesn't have as big of a role as you are probably wanting her to have but she has a very big role in terms of what her short appearance accomplishes in the movie so there really is no reason to announce her there really is again no reason so far for why she should be all throughout scream six other than of course the common answer you'll get oh because she's sydney prescott okay and what is <laughs> what is sydney prescott doing this time around sydney prescott again how you write that character that's something that is very important don't just throw her in there for a lot of screen time and she's doing nothing that's a disservice to the character so if she ultimately just ends up being a glorified cameo don't be shocked at that uh again if it's not true and if she doesn't appear in the movie remember we still have all of these other people that we should be going out of our way to support the movie for if you are someone who again is very open-minded about the subject and you are just not really caring about just nev campbell as much as you want to have a fun ghost face movie on your screen again and you're just excited that the scream franchise is back after being dormant for over a decade so again her potential shooting dates from what i've been told and i'm assuming viewer and non has been told these dates too considering how they quote tweeted what i had to say i started getting a lot of followings from people i weren't expecting to follow me <laughs> uh the dates apparently potentially will be july 28th july 29th and july 30th and again these are also dates that she has no convention appearances established as well so we'll see how that all goes down because again what could happen is the, ch the chances of them getting of this leaking they're, they're there but there's a chance that what they could do is just have everything very much tightly secured that day that she's on set and we don't find anything out again they keep it very tight-lipped once she's there and we don't find out anything until the movie comes out because again the very important thing i said that we all should pay attention to is how people respond to the question about if nev's in it or not uh, i think that would be very telling viewer anon also had another tweet that came out not too long ago before talking about before talking about something else about this movie playing with the format a bit more and it feels less safe for the characters than scream three through five talking about how they've been asked a lot of stuff for scream six fun questions but i won't feel comfortable talking about specifics until there's a cut i will say that from what i've heard and believe they're playing with the format a bit more this time and it feels less safe for the characters and movie than scream three through five now 
going off of that, wouldn't this then mean or imply that there's a lot of deaths that are going to occur? Or at least there's going to be a feeling of true, a true genuine vibe that anyone can die. And they actually do make some shocking decisions. Not all of which, of course, will like, and that's fine. But in the end, I think the most important thing is do you effectively make the death justified if it's actually another legacy character or even Kirby? Because uh, I did recently see Beyond the Mask video, recent video that they made. Shout out to you, Beyond the Mask. And again, if they go out of their way to take some death defying risk, I guess people would call, classify that, killing off certain characters, of course, they're taking big risks, but what is the vision that you have in mind why did these people die if i can see that and at least understand where you're trying to go then i will understand and respect your decision i'm not saying i would have killed the characters but i see the vision you want to tell you're the one getting to bring your scream vision to life not me uh as long as you can sell me on it and i can see where where you're going and what direction and narrative you're trying to get across ultimately then i'll be fine because again, there's already an overstuffed, overstuffed cast. And I've talked about this for those of you who are in group chats with me. I've talked about this. You already have a lot of survivors here. Don't they, isn't there a, a, a bit of a necessity to kill a lot of them? Because if a lot of them go into this and then ultimately live, you then go into Scream 7 with again, a big main cast of survivors. And then of course, presumably some more new characters. And then that's also assuming that some of the new characters from Scream 6 will survive too. So you're only gonna add on to a giant list of survivors going into Scream 7. Like, no, a lot of people are gonna have to die. <laughs> you you have to kill a lot of people at this point. It seems like they kind of written themselves into it in the structure in which they're trying to do Scream 6 with all these survivors. They kind of written themselves into a necessity to kill a lot of people. So don't be shocked if it happens. The only person I feel is the safest, honestly, is Tara because of where Jenna Ortega is right now with her career and a lot all of the attention she's getting. But of course, anything could happen. They could kill her off. They could kill Sam off. Uh, although, of course, the chances of them, the Carpenters dying, about as slim as Sydney Prescott dying. Those three are probably the safest going into Scream 6. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.